Hand it over. Well, my ring is here. Scanned it. I know it's green, but I'm just doing it anyway to make sure. Oh, to make sure. And guess what? Oh. Want to know? Want to know a little secret? What? If you shoot through that hole. Our heritage. Our search for a home took us through the cosmos. For many a great cycle we roamed, yet a place to call our own eluded us. In time we began to despair, feeling the search was in vain. We continued remaining among the stars until a scout returned with news of a world unlike any other. When we beheld Aether for the first time, so great was her beauty that we forsook the stars forever to live upon her surface. From that day forth, the Lunawoth were of Aether, our blessed paradise. Just lived in space? I guess. Well, I don't understand. How did they just live in space? So, like, what? Their first memories of being a race are just like, oh, we were already spacefaring. We just existed in space with great technology. It's like they went through some sort of a fucking amnesia and just forgot everything. That's how they were. Oh, is this when we go to, uh... What the hell is it called? The desert? Because this is the temple grounds. The desert? Yeah, Argon Wastes. I kind of like it that it doesn't just tell you right when you come down here. Yeah, Loom Moth Temple. Ooh. Argon Stop itching! I can't help it. It feels so good. Well, you better, because guess what? It's going to take forever to heal then. Oh, dude, my arm's itchy. Argon Bearer Pod. Living storage units um, of the Loom Moth. There's no R. Oh. Aegon or Agon. Whatever. The Agon Aegon Bearpod is a hardy desert plant form used by the Lunamoth to store useful items and supplies. Its tough epidermis can be destroyed with weapons. It gathers trace amounts of moisture from the air and stores it in a number of chambers throughout its body. It can hold the pro process this it can hold and process this moisture for weeks if necessary. Just stick shit in there, like hold this. Yeah, how did they put it in there? You know this from you know what always reminded me of these things? Hmm. Do you remember those weird little like blue spiky things we had that had like a little loop on the top, but if you like oh, yeah. squeeze it they would flash? That's what it always made me think of. I always hate thinking about that stuff, because then you're always like, where did that shit ever go? Trash. Pretty much. Wow, what do you know? Use for storing things. These are all empty, though. They ate them. <gasps> Luminoth. Yep. Oh, Lumite. <laughs> Photosynthetic flying insectoid. Relatively harmless in the shadows. Powerful and invisible in, in the light. The Lumite thrives on light and can render itself invisible to most predators while within it. When out of the light, the creature is relatively harmless, relying on a crudely spat chunk of biomatter to defend itself. Once in the light, it can channel large amounts of solar energy into a deadly blast. Damn. Nice transparent effect on the wings. Good job. Powerful move in the light. The Luna Moth have not forgotten us. <laughs> He's already dead. He can't even scan the ground! Target has been dead for 1.1 deca cycles, so 11 years. Body's been badly damaged by sandstorms and heat exposure. Judging from the number of blast wounds, the target was dead long before the desert got to it. <laughs> Sungrass. Sandgrass. Sandgrass. Damn. Indigenous strain of grass adapted to the desert climate. Plant requires no moisture to, sur to survive, relying ex exclusively on solar energy for sustenance. Do we really need this? Yeah. Sandgrass scan... No, I'm saying, do they really need to make a scan for this? Yeah. Sandgrass scans indicate that, that the plant requires no moisture to survive. It relies exclusively on solar energy for sustenance, making it well adapted for life in a desert environment. Evidence of 
extensive mutation present, suggest, suggesting radical bio-adjustments within the last centicycle, so the last hundred years. Mutation source is not natural. Plant strain was genetically engineered, possibly by the Luna Moth. Do they need that? Yeah, probably. Bastards. Like, the desert wasn't pretty enough. We need some grass. Pretty Stained. good shape still for being, well, I guess, like an exoskeleton probably lasts a long time. Or something. Yeah, you see the dead spiders in the webs. Speaking of spiders. Yeah, no shit. This plant's full of fucking bugs, isn't it? That's why they came in and they're like, look at all these bugs, that's hot. <laughs> I want to breeding with them. Oh, there's the fucking thing. There's an expansion somewhere. That walk doesn't even look right. Yeah, just like she doesn't move far enough when she steps. Like, she slides. Come on, Retro. Dude, there's the fucking first boss. Yeah, right. A statue of it. Why do they make a statue of it for? Because they probably have some great revere for it. Like, oh, the great sandworms. Well, oh, is that what it originally was? And then the originally? Yeah. <laughs> was it actually what? a good... Was it a godly being of the planet? I don't know about that, but... Yeah, it's like the they, they're they're like the cho gods. they're a lot more like the chose of the Lunamoth. They've respected nature. Sand digger, desert based tunneling bioform, extremely well armored target, exposed eyes to damage to this to damage this creature. Scans indicate that the sand digger has a dual brain nervous system. Both of its heads are capable of attacking, disabling, and digesting prey. It fires globs of acidic digestive fluid at prey to cripple them and begin the digestion process. Its hide is very durable and resistant to weapons or weapons fire. Only its exposed eye can be damaged. Then what kills it? Huh? What can kill it then? Nothing? Probably couldn't. I don't know. Who knows? It's gotta take a stick and jab in the eye. I don't know what other pred- well it said weapons fire. It doesn't mean you can't just crush it if you had like someone with strong enough jaws. I gotta kill both faces. Do you think that makes it sad when one not, when one head dies and it's like, oh, my brother. Scan him. Well, that's why I said that's why it's nice to play Prime on hard mode and then come to this because then it'll be like, oh, cool. Sandbat, small airborne predator pack. Contact with targets can cause minor damage. Targets travel in flying swarms. Sandbats are small flyers. They travel in packs for safety, though they are predatory in nature, failing to find prey as a group. Sandbats will often enter a feeding frenzy and attack one another in search of sustenance. That's nice. Looks like some Resident Evil shit. I'm flying, guys! Why are you shooting him for? Who am I? Fuckface. <laughs> nice. Slave station, there's a big blue tree in here, isn't there? No. Is that the other one? Different room, yeah. Fuck. Yes. Scan them! Why? I thought we scanned those already. These are the ones we just oh. scanned in the air! Could've been something different. Oh. Maybe they're cave bats. Sam's just like, fuck. You know, it's probably a good thing too that this game isn't. Her. Like, ah! That this game isn't going to be as you know punishing as Prime on hard mode because, first off, we're reading everything, so that takes up a lot of time. Remember, this dying and backtracking wouldn't be fucking nice either. And I'm not gonna lie either; I kind of would like to try to get this like 100 <laughs> percent. Oh shit! Oh wait, dumbass! <laughs> Oh, look at that effect. Isn't that good? Sand bath. Oh. Look at that. She smoke. stands and she's like... Oh. Little windshield wipers go on. Right. It was energy tank. <laughs> like a boat on the river. There they are. This is the room. Well, this is a room. This is the room I was thinking about. This is like a spaceport's favorite tree or something. Yeah, blue root tree. Highly poisonous plant form. That's Durable space. tree with venomous leaves found on several worlds in desert climate zones. The blue root tree is common on worlds with desert regions. While, ele while an elegant, attractive plant, the tree's leaves are highly toxic. Few species can ingest the, level, the leaves and live. Many of them, such as the space pirates, consider the deadly blue root leaf a delicacy. 
<coughs> so look at this leaf, this tree with like no leaves on it. Oh, I'll give you that. Give you, like, the it's base. just like the stalk. It's the space parts already got to it. It's a big ass tree. Those like manta brace. I don't even know what they're shaped like. Fuck you, saying you. <laughs> Security locked in place. Controlled by a bomb slot device. Guess what? It's in the dark world. It's in the dark world. Well, go on the tree. We're going. Can't you go on the tree? No. Yeah, oh, again. It's all blue. That's what's so you're going to just walk into these trees? Yeah. Why? Oh, I'm over that. It's a new visor. Shh. Yeah, blue vision. How it feels to be a shark. It's another one. I got another one. Oh, I. It's coming at you. Why does he only take one of four? Is the weaker one? God, shut up. And then you just explode? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what it sounds like. Is another decor There's one. a lightning yep. bolt. Shit. Dark world's dangerous. Some security system. Psionic sonic security system. Mm. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with the system. Doors are receiving commands via sonic beam. The commands are Keeping it shut, destroying the sonic beam emitters may open the door. You can't fool me. That's a boombox, nigga. Doesn't even look like one. Yeah, it does. It's three. Oh no, he's back? There's a different pit. There's one here and one in there. No, the other one. You killed him already before, though. I went out of the room and came back. One room and he's back? It's technically two rooms, because remember I opened that door and then I was like, oh, that bomb slot's in the dark world. So it was two rooms, nigga. That ain't cool. Fuck a duck. No, I wonder what this is. Should have scanned it. It's another one, so don't worry. It's not another one. Oh, look at those. <laughs> Fuck that. That worked. See, it was right, it was important. Yeah, what do you know? Brainstone. It's not. Brainstone. Fuck, can't do it. Proper transfer module needed for access. What, so that's their language? Dots and lines? They're all spacey. They're all about that math. That math. <laughs> it's got the energy! I still remember being like here. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be phase on or what? But then I remember Dad was like, "Can you like jump and like morph ball in?" <laughs> I was like, "No." <laughs> we'll just try it. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. Just try. It. Scan the missile thing. I did scan the missile thing already. You scan it, hadn't you? No. But the missile thing wasn't a thing either, so I feel like the energy wouldn't. I'll just scan the big statue. Structural analysis complete. Statue composed of ordinary alloys and stone. Purpose unknown. Possibly placed as a warning to travelers. Solar lens modified for use as part of Lunamoth's sonic security system. Lens is connected to a sonic control system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with the system. Neutralizing the control emitter may affect the lens. Yes, yeah, so you need one of those visors. Whatever the fuck they're called. Like the Ultra echo vi violent. there's like the echo visor, I think. Maybe the something echo visor maybe, and the maybe screaming visor. Yeah, totally. Can't do anything. Nope. Bunch of fucking bats. Space pirates? Space pirates. Oh yeah. I knew this room. I know this room. It's also those crab things here. Mining too. station ash. Well, you almost died. Ah, oh, the lightning is just like so quiet. 
Yeah, the crap things. Space pirate crate. Pirate crates strangely dislike theft. The only way into their crates is through the use of force. <laughs> the crap fuckers. Is like. it a Briggsy? Briz Briz Brizgy. Brizgy. Yeah, it is. Venomous insectoid, poison stinger concealed in back mounted shell. Finish it off quickly once the stinger is exposed. Why would you have a stinger in a shell? Yeah, what are you gonna do? The Briggsy's tail ends in a venomous bar which it conceals underneath a hard packed layer of fused sand. A series of sharpened ridges along the body discourages most predators. Those foolish enough to harness or harass the Briggsy are quickly introduced to its deadly sting. It's gonna move the stinger. It's not, it's just you gotta touch it. Oh. If you bite the face, you're fine. I can see a crawl. Who's making all that noise? At least they don't walk like hunchbacks. They just teleport on in. <laughs> oh, the music's so different. It's not like. <laughs> I kind of like this better because it's not like in your face. And then, oh, like the guitar. Well, it's just Stick too loud. Pirate Trooper, star faring brigand, aggressive, well armed bioform, trained for combat and conquest, sworn enemy of Samus Aran. They all look the same. Or they all look different every game. The space parts suffered a serious defeat on Talon 4, yet they, yet, yet they remain a powerful force for crime and disorder in the galaxy. Their technology continues to advance. Even the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. Oh, I have a three. photonic power scythe and quantum assault cannon are now standard issue weapons for all troopers. How much have they upgraded that since then? Yeah, they're no longer just lizards. Now they're split-jawed aliens that look like they kind of ripped off of Halo they're a little bit. They're kind of insecty, I guess. Yeah, they are still. And now they just got a fucking heart. You know, I always used to say, like, oh, I think these are, like, dumb compared to, like, the first ones. But, you know, I still do really like them. Plus, like, you kind of, like, see, like, the muscle fibers underneath, like, the armor. Kind of like, you know, like an insect. And their faces are pretty neat. I have a heart, though, sticking out for it. It's kind of easy to hit. Hit them the... <gasps> Oh, they can cling to walls? It's like the oh, original? Yeah, I was just gonna say, the old one's good too, it's not new. Well, they wouldn't just randomly do it. <laughs> What's he doing? He's yeah, just saying these, like, hey! Man, those bullets hit like shit. They don't even hurt. Sound exactly the same, though, so that's good. I do the same thing, but I'm not trying to think, do the ones in 3 sound the same? No, they sound dumb. Oh, I know when you play the game. <laughs> Why do you talk so much shit about 3? Three? 3 was good! No. No! <laughs> shit. Oh, this is the room I thought you were talking about. I yeah, see there's nothing there. No. Oh, maybe not. Well, it's the room above it. <laughs> Fuck it, we're in here. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Let's scan his thigh. Uma terminated 1.9 deca cycles ago, so almost 20 years. This boy's got big thighs. Target has a number of wounds caused by small explosions, most likely delivered by a portable rocket or grenade system. That doesn't mean he was killed by fucking pirates, does he? <laughs> he, just killed he was killed by a grenade system? Unless it was like... Possessed like, ing thing, like the machines they said even to. They get possessed. They can possess machines? Yeah. How would they do it? Oh, it's the portal room, isn't it? Fuck. Let's go back and explore the other room a little bit. Where are you going to the dark world? Yep. 
That was fast. Well, why do you act like it's like such a fucking long thing? The whole game sur is surrounded by going b back and forth between light and dark world, so yeah, they're going to introduce it pretty quick. And they just told us about it, so it's only natural that we're heading in that direction. Well, the question is, can we even advance? We don't got double jump. No, you can do it again. What, well, now there's war offs? They're like, ah, oh, shit. Let's throw some highs up there. Yeah, the, the, the fucking... They beamed them. Yeah, see. Well, not important more. anymore. Why is the lightning, like, not even a big deal? This is a dark lightning. I mean dark lightning? No, it's not. It was blue, wasn't it? Nah. Pretty sure the room that you were talking about, I always thought was like the one back here. It's a face. Statue of Deter, the child hero of Argon. Argon. Is that an Argon waste? No, it's, it's Aegon, Aegon. waste. That's dumb. Argon sounds better. Argon's an element, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Once a lowly acolyte squire. He became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but Chur were slain, leaving the boy as sole defender of the temple. He s served Agon f for nearly a centicycle before being lost in battle on Dark Aether. Okay, well here's the question. So how long have they been at war with the with the been Ing? A long ass time. I'm pretty sure. That's what the wiki said. Oh, you looked it up. Yeah, a while back. Well, apparently it must be like hundreds of years. No, it's been a long fucking time. Fucking player. What, this room? Probably, yeah. Whoa, shriek bats! Which are just like blue rings that do. Always remind me of the flying rings in Rayman, like the original. Energy has been down. Uh, shriek bad. Territorial flying rodents. Rapid flying explosive enemies target and eliminate enemy at range if possible. Shriek bats have high internal temperatures, leading them to seek cool climates to dwell in. They prefer caverns roosting on the ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. This attack is fatal for the shriek bat as the impact sets off a discharge of thermal energy. Why is it gotta be a different than the shriek bats? So why are they called? fucking like rings? Well, and why do they just kill themselves? Mm -mm. Yeah, and then why are they just rings? You know, they got How do they energy eat? or whatever they're supposed to have? Which yeah, in the middle high. of them. Yeah. What the fuck? Just what auto seeks on? Oh yeah, that's that'll do it. On the same. Your gun auto shoots. It auto targets now. Well, it always did that to a slight degree. I feel like it wasn't that much though. Man, what are they talking about? This game is easy mode. Yeah, it is easy mode. Oh. After Prime One, we're gonna kick AS. That's what I was hoping for. Well, I guess you can fight it, because I've been playing for 23 minutes. So next episode, Justin fights, I think, the <gasps> the Sand Digger. The Sand Nigger? Yeah, How it's dare you. the Morph Ball Bomb. Alright, next episode...